Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the defrost control assembly in a Kenmore refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a pair of side cutters, and three zip ties. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new defrost control assembly. This defrost control assembly is located in the refrigerator compartment behind the rear panel mounted on the evaporator coil. It consists of the temperature sensor and the thermal fuse. It controls the defrost cycle and cuts the power off to the defrost heater if the temperature gets above a safe level. If the temperature inside the refrigerator section is not cold enough and there is ice on the rear cover, the defrost control assembly should be checked and replaced if needed. To get to the part, we need to open both French doors. So we need to empty out the compartment, take out the shelves and the drawers. Lift up the front portion of the shelf and release the rear hooks. So we can do all four of them. Pull out the drawers. Lift it up a little bit when you pull it out so you can release the rear wheels. Then the bottom one. Lift it up and remove it. Now I'm going to remove the whole structure here. I'm going to put my arm on the knees and uh, push it up. And the same thing on this side. And then support it carefully and remove it. Next, we need to remove this drawer support on the left side. It's uh, held in place by two Phillips screws right in there in front portion. And I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take them out. And now we can uh, pull it aside and out. To do more damage, we need to take out these two caps that are hiding the screws behind them. I'm going to use a flat blade screwdriver and pop them out. So we need to take this screw out and then the one on the top. Phillips screwdriver will do the job. Now we're going to remove this uh, rear panel. Uh, we're going to stick your fingers into this uh, slot. So hopefully you don't have uh, short fat fingers so they will fit in there. And pull out. And then we can uh, tilt it forward towards you and then lift it up. Don't go, don't go far away. We've got a number of plugs here. All right, so we need to remove this plug. Uh, the locking tab is on the side. I'm going to push it down and pull the plug out. And now we can remove the cover. So I'm going to use the uh, side cutters and I'm going to cut the three zip ties off. And now we need to unplug this plug at the bottom. We're going to push the locking tab on the right side, pull it out. Then uh, remember how it was? This was at the bottom, and that was right here. We can remove it and put a new one in. This is the old defrost control assembly next to the new one. 
If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. So again, okay, let's install this uh, new defrost control assembly. And I'm going to start with plugging it in at the bottom. Like that. And I'm going to pull this down. It goes uh, right in here. Uh, we're going to need uh, three zip ties. So the first one and install in at the bottom. Press it against that uh, aluminum thing. And let's tie it. Okay. That would be number one. So we're going to put the sensor here, it goes on the top. And again, a zip tie. And bend it so it will be a little easier to pull it through. And the third zip tie goes here on uh, those three harnesses. I'm going to bunch them up and uh, put it together. And uh, side cutters, I'm going to cut this extras. All right, so we're back into the fridge and we're going to plug in this harness, push it in, it should lock, and I'm going to lift it up, lifting it up, and we put the bottom tabs in. both sides push it down and uh, and in and then uh, press it in so the uh, the side tab is gonna lock here and now we're gonna secure that uh, cover with uh, two Phillips screws now the caps goes back in uh, this uh, tab little tab goes into this cutout so we're gonna slide it in and then the top one. So we're going to put the support in. It goes in this way. That tab goes right there in the, in the slot at the back. Slide it in. And we're going to push it to the left. And then two Phillips screws will uh, hold it to the side wall of the cabinet. We're now going to in install this structure here. Place it in. And we can uh, slide in the lower drawer and then both upper drawers. And I'm going to install the shelves. And now we can close the doors. I usually start with the left side and then I can close the right side. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram.